If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. Just when you thought that they couldn't or wouldn't go after the children any more than they already do, which is exactly what the school system does. I mean, for starters, it indoctrinates children at such a young age with a world of lies. And like I say so many times, they beat it into your head with repetition, and then you believe that this world is really something that it's not. You believe in a republic. You believe we landed on the moon. You All this just stuff, of course, that they call us crazy for believing because they can't wrap their heads around it. The other thing, of course, we know that schools do is they have our moms and dads working, and it's not because they care so much about women's empowerment. It's because they want the children raised by the institution, because what's the one thing missing from the institution? Of course, that is God, and that's why most of these kids don't see what's going on. They don't see the spiritual war. They don't see Lil Nas and all these people who are constantly flashing Satanism on them. They think it's some type of show or art form. And now, what's the latest thing? Well, (laughs) I guess it shouldn't come as a surprise, but let's just create more soy boys. That's right, more soy boys, because the Impossible Food Venture, that's right, Impossible Foods is now certified for school lunches. Meatless tacos and spaghetti are coming to cafeterias nationwide. This isn't some experiment in a small town in Ohio or California. Nationwide, they're going to be putting it there. And what are they going to be doing? They're going to be telling the children how it's a healthier alternative to having meat or any of these things. What are they not going to tell them? Well, they're not going to tell them how much soy is in these products and how soy and all these burgers are made, these impossible burgers and impossible meats are made mostly of soy protein. And of course, as most people should know, that soy is not something that men should want to have too much of in their bodies, or if any. Men's bodies do produce estrogen, Small levels of it. By enhancing the amount of soy, your body is producing more estrogen, thus making your testosterone levels go down. In lots of cases, people's sex drives go down. It leads to depression. It leads to fatigue. It leads to the low fertility rates that we see nationwide that nobody continues to talk about. And they think it's, I mean, it drives me insane. For all these people talk about science and data, you know, <laughs> you look at the fertility rates and people are just like, well, that's because people are using contraceptives and they don't want to have kids anymore and things like that. And they don't look at the fact that, yes, it has to do with the, with the jabs and these other things, but also this increase in dumping soy into food products. So the USDA, which is the USDA, which is about as credible as the FDA for caring about what goes into your body as much as Roto-Rooter cares about what's coming out. And trust me, you'll be calling Roto-Rooter with the more of this product that you put in your body. So this month, Impossible Foods is embarking on a mission to help young Americans. And listen, because these are the things that are important, the trigger points in here. It's not just about, oh, you know, let them have the two. They're going to be pushing it. I'm sure it'll be cheaper than the other products in the cafeteria. And of course, they'll have signs. Oh, it's the healthier. Oh, lose weight. Oh, feel great. Meanwhile, everybody wonders why men are acting so feminine in today's world. And they're like, why is that such a bad thing, Call? Why is it so bad? Well, because it's not natural for a man's body not to have larger levels of testosterone in it and have extra large levels of estrogen in it. It ain't natural. And that's a problem. And that's what causes a lot of these issues with people health-wise. So, again, Impossible Foods is embarking on a mission to help young Americans build better dietary habits 
and tackle the climate crisis by introducing plant-based meat at school cafeterias. The climate crisis, which is as real as it's as real as Michael Myers and Freddy Krueger coming to your front door tonight. But then again, Michael Myers and Freddy Krueger reside in the White House these days. So to support its goal, Impossible Foods secured a ne- a child nutrition, which is called the CN label, um, from the U.S. Department of Agriculture (USDA), which allows its Impossible Burger products, both patties and bulk, to be served for breakfast and lunch in K through 12 schools nationwide. Every year, schools serve approximately five billion lunches and 2.4 billion breakfasts to children, many of which include a variety of animal products. Right, so. This is the thing. I mean, a lot of people come and they don't understand this stuff. Like, I'm not sitting here and supporting eating meat because I want to <laughs> I love animals just as much as the next person. I'm not supporting going and killing an animal. You know, people who are vegan don't seem to understand this. It's about what the soy does to a man. Why do you think the term... It's so funny, too. All of these, like, these, um, I don't even know what they call them, Gen X, Gen Y. It's not even millennials anymore. That they're targeting the ones who are like pro jab. They think that, you know, going on these March for Lives rallies, like they're making a difference. They're being told that their voice matters. I mean, they're so just dumbed down. It's incredible. But they tell them that the reason for this stuff is, oh, climate change, right? And then we get these people pushing climate change on everyone. And we have Bill Gates out there talking about cow farts affecting climate change. I mean, you just you want to pull your, your your hair out. You know, you want to do more, literally. I mean, but I can't say what at this point anymore because Lord knows I'm not even allowed to speak anymore. But Impossible Foods' new CN label allows it to introduce its plant-based meat product to young people's nutritional requirements. So remember that old pyramid? And yes, how apropos it was inside of a pyramid. <laughs> and they're going to introduce the... Uh, these meatless products into the nutritional requirements and help kids make better choices for themselves, animals, and the environment. So this is just going to be pushed and pushed and pushed. So this is why I've constantly said that the youngest generation now is so dangerous to the end times, to the mark, to accepting the Antichrist. Because these are the this is the generation being targeted. This is the generation that's going to want its jab, already does want its jab, Nobody's offended at like going after six month olds to get the jab and six year olds to get the jab because they they're like, hey, what, what's wrong with that? You get your booster shot, hey, you know, it's all normal. Then they're then they're pushing all these other agendas on them with equal, you know, as if we live in a world where there aren't equal rights and equal opportunities. They convince people of all of this stuff because they don't only they don't see it going on in their day to day life. They see it on a box in their living room. They see it on a laptop on their phone, and they're like, oh, look at this, and they don't realize that those productions are, are more Hollywood than Hollywood productions, and like, right, and there's more truth than Hollywood movies, as they say, so they say the Impossible Burger represents a logical next step for schools looking to incorporate more plant-based op- options that meet nutritional needs of school-aged children, so this is going to be something a lot of the parents, too, won't even have a choice over because the kids are going to go to school with their lunch money and they're going to pick what they want to pick. And a lot of the parents are going to tell them to pick these options. And a lot of these parents, you know, guy's going to have a son uh, comes home, Steve. Next thing he's going he's calling himself Stevina. And he's going to say, well, that's just uh, who, who he is. Right? No, no weird thing with his voice changing or how he's acting or anything like that. I'll tell you right now, this generation... We might as well call it, you know, they call it Gen X, Y, Z. We might as well call it Doomsday Generation. And that's why you guys out there who listen, and that is why I stay here on YouTube because I get it. There's 12 years old, 14 year old kids who, you know, don't have a credit card or don't go to the website and don't want to go, maybe, whatever. But you guys are the last line of hope. I'm, I, I'm borderline done with all this stuff, I'm borderline done talking about it. I keep trying to push myself to keep doing this to help because I'd feel like I'd be even more worthless of a cause at this point if I didn't. But I'm not the standing line of defense here. I'm not John Connor, okay? You guys are. And you need to see these things and these agendas behind it. And how they just constantly are tricking everyone into climate this and C19 or that. 
and what the end game is and the Baphomet and the feminizing of men and take, I mean, it's really simple to see if you have eyes to see and ears to hear. So you guys are so important. And I hope parents out there, you know, they'll realize what they're doing here by putting this into schools. And I know most people go, well, who cares? You can get it at McDonald's. They can go to the grocery. Well, this is a place now where the, you know, the 10 year old ain't going to the grocery without his mom or dad. And if he is something seriously wrong, but I'm sure we're going to be in a world pretty soon where the 10 year old's going on a date with a 40 year old to the grocery because that's how sick it's getting. But at school, the teachers, the educators are going to educate them on this. Just like we were all educated on a history of lies and falsehoods. And they're going to say, oh, this is the better choice. And then they're, they're, this is going to be them for the rest of their lives. And pe- people still are going, that's crazy being vegan. I'm not saying that if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, it's a, you're going to become a, f- a feminine male. All right. Why do you think after all this stuff with the soy burgers came out where all these men who were like growing so much extra flab on their bodies and stuff. And then everybody in the mainstream media came out and made everyone look insane. This going, oh, these guys, these crazy conspiracy tinfoil hat wearers are saying that men are growing boobies. Isn't that insane? <laughs> it's an insane world is what it is. So you guys who are a younger generation, know these things, know what's around you, tell people about it. The parents out there who listen, I just try to give the information so you know what's going on because you probably, some of you wouldn't know. What do you think? They're going to send a flyer home. We're now serving this. And then when people hear plant-based, they just go, oh, okay. It's made in a laboratory. Okay. It's made in a Petri dish. It's like being in a science or chemistry class. And then like to dumping the chemicals and you got the eye goggles on and they're like, eat this, drink this. It's not real or natural and it's enhancing the soy. But they'll tell you in the mainstream media, well, this is great and this is wonderful. Of course they will. So people will hear that and they'll go, well, what's the problem, Call? What's the problem with my son eating a soy burger instead of killing a poor cow and eating it? Well, that's not the point of it. The point of it is what it's going to do to his health, his body. And we've already seen the mental effects that extreme amounts of soy have had on people. So... Who knows, this probably will get taken down too. But again, you guys can find me on my website at callforanuprising.com. And um, my one other channel now, so you can check that out as well. I appreciate you guys for being here. I hope everyone out there is doing well. God bless all of you and your families.